Before you say something as a fact, stop and consider how you say it. Often we say something as a fact without any disclaimers, doubts, or leaving a way out for ourselves. For example, today, while boiling eggs, I was about to say to my girlfriend, did you know that eggs boil for a different amount of time in different altitudes? Then I stopped and asked myself, how do I know this? I realized that once when I was living in Switzerland, a woman told me this while we were boiling eggs at a mountain house. That's the only reason I presumed it's true. Is it though? Maybe. Am I sure that the woman had the right facts herself? Nope. Now before saying this quote unquote fact to my girlfriend, I could go online and do some fact checking. But I also have another choice. Instead of saying it as a fact, I decided to say, have you ever heard that eggs boil for a different amount of time in different altitudes? It's a small change, but a big difference. Now, I present this unchecked idea in a way which makes a hint that I'm not certain of it myself. This will likely prevent my girlfriend from going to others and continuing to pass it on as an unchecked fact too. When I say it in this way, I also give myself space to be corrected. Maybe my GF heard something else. I encourage her to debate and to be curious together. And most importantly, I don't make myself believe something without checking it by telling it as a fact. Instead, I open up the way to question my own knowledge. I could even say, a woman once told me that eggs boil for a different amount of time in different altitudes. It sounds cool, right? I wonder if it's true. For more critical thinking tips, click here on this playlist that the red arrow points to. This is Rokas of Critical Thinkers, and let's keep creating a culture of critical thinking together.